we are headed to West Palmdale, California, because one of the agents gave us a call and said the a rehab project, this uh, mobile home on the west side of Palmdale is officially done. So it's time to shoot it, uh, photo, video, and maybe 3D Matterport, but we'll see. He died or he passed away. They didn't really say like how, huh? No, he just died. But they left his wheelchair there. That was the creepy part. I would say about two months ago, we arrived. Not that two months ago, right? About two months. Maybe two months ago, maybe less. Oh, we'll find out. I'll verify with the agent in just a bit. But about two months ago, we came here. <clears throat> we shot uh, the before footage. The, uh, the agent just acquired the property. So someone died in the property and a bunch of people tried to bid over it and then BS happened. So uh, the client was able to uh, pretty much submit another offer and they were able to get it uh, because, again, someone died in the, in the mobile home. So uh, my question to you would be, would you live in a mobile home that someone died in? Let me know in the comments below, you guys. All right, so <clears throat> let's get inside. The agent's not here. He'll be here in about 20, 30 minutes. So Sam's going to run some photos. I'm going to set up the um, camera on the gimbal, run some vertical video. And then uh, once the agent gets here, we'll talk a little bit more. But for now, go ahead and enjoy the uh, BTS. <laughs> How many shots do we normally do in the front? We take three. Front side and then side. There you go. That way the agent has a couple different options when choosing the money shots. That's not including the actual drone either. So when I started this whole real estate uh, photography, videography journey, I actually started with a Weeble S and then eventually when I had enough money I upgraded from a four or five hundred dollar a gimbal to a thousand dollar which is the DJI Ronin S. The reason why I say that is don't be so um, impatient uh, as far as wanting the next best thing. Sometimes it uh, depends on your budget and what you need. Uh, kind of stick to your budget and uh, until you, kind of stick to your budget until you can save enough money or you have enough money to get what you uh, what you really want. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just balance the Canon R6 with the 16 millimeter lens. It's a pancake lens, so uh, I try to keep as less, <clears throat> I try to keep the least amount of weight as possible, especially shooting vertical on the cage. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, auto balance it real quick, auto tune it. Okay, so we just finished up. I got all the shots. When shooting real estate, we want to focus. We don't want to shoot too much because then when editing, you're going through so many clips and you really don't, after a while, you don't need to shoot so much. You kind of already know what you need to shoot, which is just a couple shots from the outside, the side of the house, and then the front of the house. So the purpose of the video and why I wanted to bring you along to today's project, it's not for the fact that someone passed and someone got, you know, a sweet deal off of it. It's seeking opportunity. How often are you seeking opportunity? And then how often are you taking that opportunity that you found? So it looks like maybe the agent is showing the property. This happens often, so technical difficulty. She got her license at the TC. Oh, Alan. Yeah, there you go. I forgot her damn name. I'm not gonna tell her that either. Um, a wrap for the second part of the house which would be all bedrooms and the laundry room what do you guys think of the house so far i showed you guys a couple shots but damn this is 
from night to day. Um, there was a huge wall, yeah. All right, so we have the front part of the house left, which will be the living room area, the kitchen, and then the backyard. So we just wanna find out, we talked a little bit about the property, someone passing in here. You guys purchased it. Um, what's this property gonna be listed for? Right now, we're gonna revisit the comps, but originally we plan to price the property at 159.9 and going up from there. Okay. Right. But with the change since then, you know, a lot has happened since two months ago. So we'll revisit the comps tonight, check out the competition in the area. I'm really excited about this one because most of these aren't fully upgraded like this. And 93551 is the desired yeah. location out here in the Inland Valley. So, you know, we should, we should fly. Especially with the uh, mobile homes on huh, Sam? Out here, like the west side, the Palmdale, the Boulders west side, even the Boulders right. east side is pretty popping, but the Boulders right. west side, yeah, we don't see too many for sale signs. So uh, definitely a before and after. Um, by now, if you made it this far watching the video, you've already seen some of the clips from what it looked like. So definitely a uh, good transition, you guys. Yeah, good, man. good, good, good no, stuff. No, definitely not. Can't take none of this credit. It's all to my team, man. I never even lifted a hammer or even walked this property. This is actually the the, uh, the first time I'm seeing it for myself. Okay. Uh, since since we viewed it last here on camera. Shit, dude. So shout out to my investors. You know who you are. Um, and then yeah. Yeah, it's rock and roll, man. All right, that's it. How far do you live? You got married. Yeah, you got married. Yeah, yeah. I seen that. Hey, he's doing good too, man. Yeah, Paul, my. Hey, I like him because you know what? He's dope. He's like, he's, dope, he's silent. He he's silent. still doing deals. He's still getting deals, cold calling, but he's he's not out there having to make like the videos and stuff like that. No, yeah, he's not in it for the uh, the fame. All right, guys, so that is a wrap. Uh, you heard it yourself from the agent. They're going to be listing that mobile home property for about $159.9. Uh, they bought it for under, I believe, $100K uh, because someone died in it and it was trash and it smelled like ass. Right? And dude, this stunk. And then the dude's chair was still there. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the chair. That's what I want to know. But um, all right, we are headed back to the office. It's lunchtime. Uh, on top of that, we have some edits we have to deliver to the clients. I have to put my seatbelt on or that's gonna keep making that noise. <laughs> so totally forgot to order or to record what we got, but we're over here at Doubles. Got some food. Let me change the exposure, the aperture real quick here. You guys can see. We're just waiting for the food to come out. Over here on East Palmdale. And I've been over here for a minute. <laughs> I feel like as a creative or entrepreneur, photographer, just as a self-employed person, that being healthy is extremely hard, right? Yeah. We're constantly eating out. And I know it's just an excuse because we can just literally um, make food at home and then bring it with us. But I end up eating the food that I bring because I don't bring breakfast so I guess the solution would be eat breakfast so I don't eat my lunch but yeah anybody else like that or am I just a fucking crazy one but um we're here at doubles right now grabbing lunch I did grab a small order of chili cheese fries and some soda I love soda man let me know if you guys in the comments below if you like soda if you're a coca-cola fan or pepsi fan uh, Sam got a, what'd you get? A spicy chicken sandwich Dang. with fries. There we go, there we go. And we're going to be heading back to the office. Uh, I just wanted, again, just to bring you guys uh, almost like a day in the life, but just wanted to take you over to that rehab project, that mobile home, because, man, that, as you guys already seen, if you're making this far and you're watching this part, uh, the place was trash. We got the food. All right, hey, the food is here, you guys. The house is trashed, and they did a very, very good job. And um, it looks like they're gonna make some money if they can sell it at one hundred and fifty-nine thousand. It's so dark in here.
I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now we gotta get the stuff out. We made it. We made it to the office. We got a tamales over there. Gotta put those in the fridge. Josiah's eating his lunch. And we made it back. Just in time for some food, some edits, and then one more shoot. Check this out. We got another call. So that's number two today. We got two calls to take care of uh, two listings because of other photographers, other videographers that couldn't make it or flaked or something happened. So we're going to go ahead and meet with an agent right now. We have about 45 minutes to take care of the video before the sun comes down. Uh, they do want a twilight video. So that's what we're going to do. So we have one hour to complete the project and then head home, drop the footage, work on it in the morning, and deliver. So let's go to this uh, three-bedroom, two-bath, 1,600 square foot on East Palmdale. Blessed for these opportunities. Opportunities are always around us, always around you. It's up to us, up to you to actually take action and see them and believe in them. So um, I just wanted to take you guys back to the next stop, which is a three bedroom, two bath, 1600 square feet, um, hitting the market most likely by tomorrow um, on East Palmdale. So let's go take a look. It is a pool home and uh, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. Hey, Sam looks like he's dressed nice, but it's just a nice sweater, nice coat. All right, look at that golden hour, baby. Ooh, we're right here, East Palmdale, 25th Street East. Sam's whipping out his gimbal. I'm um, still gonna put my camera onto the gimbal as well so we can uh, just tag team it together. What's up, bro? Not much, you're gonna be on my vlog. I said you're gonna be on my YouTube vlog. What's going on, boss? We're right here by the office. Uh, our office is right here, off of oh, 30th. Let's go. How's it going? Good, good. All right, he's gonna move the car, and then um, there's a few things in here. I know, dude. It's so cold now. I know, it's freezing. Hi. Gonna... <laughs> um. Should we just okay, need to get so the lights on real quick? This room we won't be filming. Okay. Hold on, Michelle, hold on. So this just room? Just skip through that. Okay. <laughs> um, I was going to put my bird in there, but we're just going to... Oh, no, he said, yeah, the bird. We're, we're putting him away. Oh, so this is yours? Hold on. Yeah, it's my house. Oh. My personal house. I live here. <laughs> You're right here. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, the bird, I thought I was like, the maybe bird. the seller didn't want it in the, in the <laughs> photo, in the video. <laughs> so I was like... Yeah. Let me call you right back. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, I guess we're just going to move the bird. I didn't know this is actually your spot. So I thought the seller just didn't want it, like oh. the bird in the video. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. actually, okay. I took all my photos down. All gone. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so. All right, you guys, so change of plans. Uh, we're going to go ahead and knock out photo and video. Um, and it's one of our agents. It's, it's actually their home. So we're just going to hook them up real quick on a quick price. And then um, just so we can get it done, get everything ready by tomorrow. Uh, so it'll probably take us about an hour. Sam's going to knock out photo. He's switching back to photo and I'm going to knock out video. So you'll see once the final, you'll see the final project. All right, you guys.